from day one, even when we were just, we only had five t-shirts and 10 polo shirts in the collection, the vision was always the same. Because Julian and I have got this kind of inbuilt progression, this yearning for progression. So as soon as we've created one product, we're thinking about what can we do next or how can we make that product better. So the vision has always been to progress, has always been to be in the best in class. But now the opportunities for us going forward are just more wide reaching. There's some fantastic premium brands out there and there's some great high street retailers. But actually bridging the gap between the two and bringing premium brand qualities to the high street is a global gap. Product wise, you could go around all the collection and every single product is going to have some edge in some way, whether it's fabric, techniques, uh, fit, detailing, whatever. It'll always be something that's uniquely super dry. We're obsessed with quality. I mean, absolutely obsessed with it. There's just something inside us which, mm. and uh, Jules, Jules and I, it's almost like we're separated at birth because we could be in two separate rooms. We were saying exactly the same thing with exactly the same feeling and approach. We know exactly what margins we have to make and we know exactly where to make that product to get the perfect product for that price. And you pick it up and you go, it's worth it. Yeah. I think that's the key to Superdry. Yeah. We're very democratic with our approach and always have been. I mean, that stems back from the, you know, uh, the, the, the student um, beginnings of cult clothing. You know, that, that um, ethos has never changed ever. It's always been about making something accessible and making people feel amazing in the product. We design for real people. Yeah. I think that's, that's key. And that, I think that's partly the retail aspect going, mm. do you know what? We have to create product that, that people are going to buy on Cheltenham High Street or, or Bruges High Street or whatever. I think as well we are a very genuine experience. So what you see with Superdry, so it's not only the product, it's the people, it's the shops. You can you can feel it when you go into a Superdry store. You can almost taste it. It's, it's such a genuine experience. It's not an exclusive experience that you start to feel you know, negative as soon as you walk in. It's an all-encompassing genuine moment. We're looking at everything and, mm. and saying, do you know what? We're not going to look at our own selves and just feed off each other. We're going to look at the big world. There's always been a pushing for quality as well coming out of British design, no matter what the mm. product it is. It's always about quality and pushing progression. And it's that sort of intricacy to detail that we is a very Japanese trait. Mm. Uh, and then you combine that with the British approach to quality and progression. You know, and then you have incredible, almost American feeling cotton fabrics, slim tailoring cuts, and it's just a whole, it's, it's just a different kind of language and different approach. Actually, I had a 12 year old write to me today saying, when are you going to do kids wear? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, thank you very much for your request, uh, but we're not going to do it. No. Because actually people get excited about wearing Super Diet 15. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and if you take away that excitement by clothing their eight-year-old brother or sister, mm. we're not going to have that longevity. No. We're a very rock and roll brand. We, we never want that to die. So that's why the integrity running through each product is yeah. so deep. You can do easy things to make money, mm. or you can do the right thing for the brand. And we've always, always, always done the right thing for the brand. Always. And we make thousands and thousands of products a year. But we will even sit in a design meeting you might spend 15 minutes just coming up with the name of a colour of a product just to give a, a product so much soul and integrity. It's like writing a song every single time. Yeah, um, e every touch point of the brand mm. should lead you further into the brand. Mm. So if there's a touch point of the brand that sort of stops you at that point, yeah. you know, that, that's a danger for the longevity of the brand. Yeah. We will have an absolutely global position, both in retail and brand perspective. So that's the success that we're still on a journey on in the UK must be emulated in every single country across the globe. Um, so that within China, within America, within Australia, within Europe, within Asia, they're all going, this is the brand that delivers for me. Yeah. Um, and we will achieve it. And in crass terms, what does it mean? It means becoming a multi-billion pound business. That to me is very exciting.